The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Saturday, March 12, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Indiana Pacers vs San Antonio Spurs The Indiana Pacers and San Antonio Spurs meet Saturday in NBA action at the AT&T Center. The Indiana Pacers need a win after losing 12 of their last 15 games. The San Antonio Spurs need a win after losing 5 of their last 7 games. Our first pick is. San Antonio Spurs minus 5.5 points. And here is why. Indiana was outscored by 11 in the 4th which was the difference maker as they were led by Therese Halliburton who scored 25 points, while 8 players recorded double digit points. Indiana is 3-7 in its last 10 games. The Indiana Pacers continue to struggle. They have lost 4 out of their last 5 games including defeats against the Pistons and Wizards. The Spurs beat the Lakers and were narrowly defeated by the Raptors on Wednesday. Furthermore Indiana continues to squander a ton of points. They have given up 133 and 127 points respectively in their last two games against the Wizards and Cavs. San Antonio has a strong offense. They have averaged 112.5 points in their last four games and are averaging more points per 100 possessions than the Pacers. And our second pick is over 235. And here is why. The San Antonio Spurs are averaging 112.7 points on 46.9% shooting and allowing 113 points on 46.8% shooting. Dejant Murray is averaging 20.6 points and 8.4 rebounds, while Keldon Johnson is averaging 16.1 points and 1.8 assists. Jacob Polt is the third double-digit scorer and Lonnie Walker IV is dishing 2.2 assists. The San Antonio Spurs are shooting 35.2% from beyond the arc and 74.1% from the free throw line. The San Antonio Spurs are allowing 35.6% shooting from deep and are grabbing 45.2 rebounds per game. Minnesota Timberwolves vs Miami Heat The Minnesota Timberwolves and Miami Heat meet Saturday in NBA action at the FTX Arena. The Minnesota Timberwolves look for a win after winning 7 of their last 9 games. The Miami Heat look for a win after winning 8 of their last 10 games. Our first pick is Miami Heat minus 5.5 points. And here is why. The Minnesota Timberwolves aren't as good on the road as they are at home, and they're coming off a bad loss to the Magic. The Timberwolves are still a young team that's learning how to win consistently and prove their alleged playoff threat. The Miami Heat are as healthy as they've been all year, and they win at home by an average of 6 points. Also, while both teams on the end of a back-to-back, -back, the Heat don't have to travel. I lay the chalk. And our second pick is. Over 225.5 points, and here is why. Miami suffered a 111-90 loss to the Phoenix Suns on Wednesday in a game they were led by Duncan Robinson, who had 22, while Tyler Harrow and Bam Adebayo both dropped 17. Miami is 8-2 in its last 10 games. The Minnesota Timberwolves are averaging 114.7 points on 45.3% shooting and allowing 111.6 points on 45.3% shooting. Carl Anthony Towns is averaging 24.5 points and 3.8 assists, while Anthony Edwards is averaging 21.3 points and 3.6 assists. D'Angelo Russell is the third double-digit scorer, and Malik Beasley is grabbing 2.9 rebounds. The Minnesota Timberwolves are shooting 35.2% from beyond the arc and 76.7% from the free throw line. The Minnesota Timberwolves are allowing 34.7% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.7 rebounds per game. The Miami Heat are averaging 109.4 points on 46.3% shooting and allowing 104.7 points on 44.3% shooting. Jimmy Butler is averaging 21.4 points and 5.7 assists, while Tyler Harrow is averaging 20.7 points and 4.8 rebounds. Bam Adebayo is the third double-digit scorer, and Kyle Lowry is grabbing 4.6 rebounds. The Miami Heat are shooting 37.6% from beyond the arc and 80.7% from the free throw line. The Miami Heat are allowing 34.1% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.3 rebounds per game. Chicago Bulls vs Cleveland Cavaliers 
the Cleveland Cavaliers and Chicago Bulls meet Saturday in NBA action at the United Center. The Cleveland Cavaliers need a win after losing six of their last nine games. The Chicago Bulls need a win after losing five of their last six games. Our first pick is. Chicago Bulls minus 2.5 points. And here is why. Cleveland is in action Friday night against the Miami Heat and will be on the second leg of the back-to-back -back for this critical matchup against the Bulls. Darius Garland scored a career-high 41 points, had 13 assists, and hit a decisive pair of free throws with 14 seconds left to lead the Cavaliers over the Indiana Pacers 127-124 on Wednesday night. The Cavs are 3-7 in their last 10 games. I know the Chicago Bulls have struggled a bit over the last month, but this line is confusing. The Cleveland Cavaliers look like a team that's completely falling apart, they did nothing last night to inspire confidence, and they're on the end of a back-to-back. -back. The Chicago Bulls have the rest advantage, they're at home, and the home team has won seven of the last nine meetings. I'll gladly lay the bucket here. And our second pick is. Under 220.5 points, and here is why. The Chicago Bulls are averaging 112.5 points on 48.4% shooting and allowing 111 points on 46.8% shooting. Demer Derrison is averaging 28.1 points and 5.1 assists, while Zach Lavin is averaging 24.6 points and 4.9 rebounds. Nikola Vucevic is the third double-digit scorer, and Kobe White is dishing 2.9 assists. The Chicago Bulls are shooting 37.4% from beyond the arc and 81.4% from the free throw line. The Chicago Bulls are allowing 36.3% shooting from deep and are grabbing 42.9 rebounds per game. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.